these days accounts are getting more hacked and we need to provide better security measures for the ones using an account on the platforms. For example, Microsoft and Google have made alternatives. For example, Microsoft Authenticator and Google Authenticator, where you can easily get randomized code which provide access to your own account. Today, I'm going to show you the best alternative or actually the best application you could use for these authentication codes. It's the most secure, the easiest to use, and it's available on all platforms. I'm pretty sure you have gotten this message a lot of times and you just need to click, I want to use a different authentication app. You can also assign a new authentication by going to the settings and make sure that you toggle it so you can choose a different authentication. You probably need to delete it, but make sure you have access to that account still, and then you can install the application I'm going to show you right now. First, of course, go to your own Play Store or App Store, then go to the search bar, there you go. And what you need to type is anti-auth. After searching for this, there is a possibility that you see sponsored applications, but it is definitely this one. You should be installing it right here. Like I said, it's available on multiple apps and devices. So let's search for anti-auth here in the browser. After searching for it, you could click on this one right here. It's the open source to authenticator app with of course great backups. Go to the website and then right above, make sure that you log in. Now, of course, it's going to ask for password. That's because I'm already logged in. Hold up. Now it's asking if you have an account yet, but you don't. So click here on don't have an account. Make sure you enter your email address, your password, confirm it by entering the same password again. And then you could say how you found out about Envy. You could say YouTube channel, maybe me, but it depends. You don't have to answer it. It's optional. Agree to the terms and then create your account. I already have an account. It is connected with my Proton Mail, which I've already made a video about with Proton.me, here you have multiple apps and I have shown you the best password manager, which is Proton Pass. There you go, the video is up right now and of course it is going to be premiered. Well, let's log in by clicking here on login, enter your own password, don't enter it wrong and always note it down so you never forget it. Or of course, use your own password manager. Let's click on sign in. It's going to take a moment, but after this you have an account at NTOF and you can see multiple accounts here, which are randomly generating a code you can enter in your own account. So I have many here and they even have a search bar. So let's say that I want to go to Amazon. I just have to copy this authenticator code, enter it on Amazon and it should easily work. Just click on left click and then it is copied. Right above you can log out, but there are not many interesting settings on the computer. This is the reason why I ask you to install the app. Let's open it and then you will see this. Let's click on existing user. That's because you already made an account. Let's of course log in. After clicking on signing, you should be able to see this. Just click here on OK. This is actually the same display as on the browser, but it's a little bit different. By clicking here on the hamburg hum hamburger icon, you can see a lot of settings right here. Just like how you want to preserve your data, your security and everything like that. When you go to security, you can actually see email verification and passkey. Passkey is connecting a device to your own account and email verification is that it sends you an email after logging in, for example. With data, you can actually do something that's very useful, import your codes. And you probably want to do that with one of these authenticator apps, for example, Google Authenticator. After clicking on here, you can actually see import codes from Google Authenticator. And then here are the, here's the tutorial. The only problem with this is that you possibly need to make a screenshot, which is not really possible on Google Authenticator. So you need to use another device. They have locked it out completely. And I had to display the Google Authenticator here so I could log it in on my other device, which was very annoying. So ask a friend if he, can, he or she can make a photo of your own QR code in the Google Authenticator and then send it to you so you can enter that in your own anti off and everything like that. You just have to scan the code. So when I click here on scan QR code, it's asking me to open, of course, the camera 
which I allow, and then you can see my face through it. But here you just have to scan the QR code. And the only way to do that, of course, is to scan it on a piece of paper or your friend's phone who made a photo of your Google Authenticator codes, which you can actually export. Even though I don't have it installed anymore, I'm just going to show you the tutorial how to do it with Google Authenticator. It's actually the app I'm coming from. And anti-auth is a lot better. It even has support in the browser, which Google Authenticator doesn't. So I can access all my codes on my computer and I don't have to grab the phone every single time. I'm just going to open the app right here. Of course, it's saying many things. Let me log in. Here you go. You can actually see that it is loading all of my accounts. But of course, I've exported everything to anti-auth, which means that it is pretty much transferring everything to my own anti-auth and not here anymore. But if you go to the hamburger, hamburger icon right here, you can actually see transfer accounts. And this is the button we want to click on. After doing this, you will see export accounts, create a QR code to export your account. We actually want to do this. After doing this, you're displayed which accounts you want to export. Of course, we want to export them all. You can actually do that right here. After clicking on next, it's going to load for a moment. And then this is your QR code you possibly need to scan. This is of course not going to give you access because it is randomized. After closing this, it's gone. But for the rest here, if I make a screenshot, I was sure it wasn't possible, but let's see. Because of course it's an authenticator app. It actually made a screenshot, which is great. So there is a possibility to do it. But what I need to do now is actually send that QR code I just got on from the app uh, to my computer and then have to scan anti off there. That's the only possibility. And I'm not even sure if it is available for a long time. So do it fast so the QR code can't change. So next time when you see this, please click on I want to use a different authenticator app because Microsoft and Microsoft Authenticator and Google Authenticator ain't gonna do it for you. So anti-auth isn't only more secure, it also gives you the possibility to search on the web browser and on your own phone. And actually you can access it on your computer or your browser, which is really great because of course Google Authenticator and Microsoft Authenticator don't have this. I hope you liked this video and you found it very useful. If you did, like down below and please comment something down. If you think you found a better app than this, let me know so I can make a video about it so more people will be able to obtain that new knowledge. This is a channel where I show you the best ways to use your technological products, for example, the best apps, how to optimize it, the most efficient, and um, how to use a day-to-day -day basis on beginner level, so explorer, intermediate, so navigator, and expert, so master. It's actually how I call it, explorer, navigator, and master. These are three difficult levels I'm working on, and what you're seeing now is definitely explorer level. It's not complicated, it's not coding, anything like that. I'm keeping it simple so you can also understand it. I want to thank you for watching, and actually, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.